Hi, Troy with Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions, a division of Suburban Manufacturing Group. Today I want to talk to you about installing um, a Pier 7 MM, uh, that's a 25 CFM regenerative drying system with pneumatic drains on the pre-filters. The first step is to take the large box and unpackage the dryer and the mounting bracket. Uh, it comes with a single uh, bracket. When installing the bracket, you want to make sure to use appropriate hardware and fasten it to a location that's going to support a minimum of 70 pounds. The dryer itself with the pre-filters is about 56 pounds, uh, but I like having uh, to make sure that we have a little bit of extra uh, additional support there uh, in case you're doing some service on the towers or whatnot, uh, but then that way you're, you're, you know everything is going to be supported. When it comes to some of our larger drying systems, our Pier 20 and our Pier 30, uh, those have more towers. There's four or six towers. That's going to encompass a different bracket. It's a dual mounting bracket, so it has two slots for our drop-in mounting plate that are affixed to the dryer here on the back. So once these brackets are affixed, you're able to just simply drop that dryer down. This bracket you're going to want to make sure is supporting a minimum of 150 pounds, uh, but that's because you would be supporting six towers. So now that we've got the wall bracket on the wall and we've dropped the dryer into the bracket and secure, we're now ready to grab the second box which has the pre-filters and all the necessary fittings to connect those pre-filters to the dryer. Uh, the nice thing about all of our Pier Series dryers, whether it be our new Pier 1 and Pier 3, uh, our Pier 5 or the Pier 7, uh, all the way up to our Pier 30, uh, all the dryers come with dual inlet and outlets. So as you can see here, this upper port is our inlet port, so there's one on each side, and then the lower port is the outlet port, and so you have to kind of decide which way you want to configure your dryer. You can come in and come out on the same side if the piping allows it, uh, depending on where the size of pipe that you have for the configuration here. On this installation in this video, we're going to install the pre-filters on this side, assuming that we're going to connect to the outlet air on the other side. So we want to take our box with the extra accessories. We want to set our pre-filters down on the, the table or the ground. You're going to want to pull out the drain tubing the bag of fittings and the instructions. Now as I said, we're installing a Pier 7 MM, so this has pneumatic drains. The way that these drains work with the pre-filters is after the installation, we're gonna be pulling a pilot signal, so as the dryer cycling, we're gonna be using these energy efficient pneumatic drains. All these drying systems come with float drains as a standard configuration also. Float drains are demand drains, so rather than requiring a pilot signal, once you trap water or oil to a certain level inside the housing, the float drain is going to automatically discharge that uh, collected condensation. So the first step is taken care of. I've decided which direction I want to bring our air in. The nice thing about a lot of our drying systems is the fact that all you need is some thread tape or some thread sealant, an adjustable wrench, uh, and a set of hex wrenches and it, you should be able to complete your install. So the first step is going to be to apply your thread tape or thread sealant to this JIC female swivel fitting. Affix it to the inlet on the side of the dryer that you want to connect it to and you're going to want to take your adjustable wrench or your wrench and really get that snug. The pre-filters come standard with the male JIC already affixed to the outlet to streamline your installation. You'll notice that on these JIC fittings, there's no thread tape or thread sealant required. It's the connection between the tapered ends. In a perfect world, you're gonna use two wrenches to really make sure that you get this connection snug. And that's gonna be leak free. The next step is going to be to want to plug your ports that you're not using. Come standard with these port plugs. Now these plugs have an o-ring seal so you don't have to get them extremely tight, you just have to get them nice and snug. And I want to come over and I want to install the other plug on the other inlet port that does not have any filters coming into it and just get this nice and snug. The next step is going to be to take the timer and coil and affix it to the air valve. 
Just slide it up. Make sure you don't lose this nut. And then obviously once the installation's all assembled, you're gonna connect this uh, and plug it into a 110 outlet. Multiple voltages are available for these dryers. Uh, if you need 12 or 24 volt, uh, we have those as well as a 220, 240 volt uh, coil timer assembly if that's what you'd be looking for. So now that I've assembled all, all of the fittings, the pre-filters are ready to go. Before I route the drain tubing, I'm gonna to wanna to take the Tsunami countdown timer that comes with all the filters uh, that require servicing. So on this unit, it's our oil coalescing element inside this pre-filter. We're gonna to wanna to use the double stick tape that's with it. And we can either affix it directly to the face of the filter or just affix it to the top and have it sit there. Uh, the nice thing about these, it counts down. When it hits zero, it's gonna beep and the little display is gonna flash. It's gonna tell you, you've reached your six months, make sure you service that coalescing element. The next step's going to be routing the pilot tubing for your drain valves. And these will come pre-affixed. Just push those push connect fittings in and we've installed the drain valves with the filters. Lastly, these pneumatic drains come with barbed, plastic barbed discharge for the condensation, 3 ace clear tubings provided. You can cut it in half and route it to a bucket or to your drain sump or to an oil water condensate collection area. Um, if you end up needing more tubing than is provided with the kit, you can go to any local hardware store and pick up some 3 ace tubing. Just cut it, push it onto the barb fitting, and you're good to go. If you have any questions on installing a Pure Series regenerative drying system, check us out online at tsunami.us.com or give us a call at 800-782-5752. Again, that's tsunami.us.com, 800-782-5752.